I'm back. So I'm having kind of a bad day in my human mind, in my human thinking. So earlier I told you things are not going my way. <laughs> so I'm waiting for the bus 47 and there's like a turnaround part but it doesn't it doesn't go there so i walked across the street thinking that it's on the street <laughs> and the 43 comes by and i told the driver the bus driver oh i'm waiting for the 47 and he said oh no it, it doesn't come here at the spot where i was just at he said it's and he told me where it is so i'm walking back from where I just was so I can go catch the bus that I need it's not fun but I did get a chance to talk to somebody so let me tell you this story real quick so I want to do interviews of people who have had a rough life or who are homeless formerly homeless or poor and needy so, um, so there was a guy walking his bike and he had a little, uh, very small wagon cart behind him. And so I did ask him if I could, you know, what's his story. So he told me a little bit of his hard time, um, but he didn't want me to record it or document it and put it up on the uh, YouTube. So I'm not going to do that. But just, you know, I did get a chance to ask him, what's your story? And first he said he didn't have a story. But then he was talking about how, you know, hard times. And um, some people said he doesn't tell the truth. But, you know, this part was interesting to me. He said as long as he knows he's telling the truth, that's all that matters between him and God. I was not expecting. I mean, that's great that he, you know, he said that. But he was probably an older gentleman, I would say late 50s, maybe 60s. Sometimes being out on the streets, it's really uh, wears and tears on a person's body. So it seems like they age, you know, faster than um, someone who wasn't out on the streets. And so it's not, so what I mean is it might, it's kind of hard to really judge what his age accurately is. But I'm guessing he's in the... Whoa! Ow! Welcome to Fullerton, downtown! The land of whatever that was. <laughs> All right, so what was I saying? I was telling you the story of the gentleman. I asked the question, oh, what's your story? Oh, and then he was telling me, as long as he knows he's telling the truth between him and God, it doesn't matter what other people say. So that was his message to me. Uh, yeah. So I was open to talking with him more, but he he politely wished me a nice day. So, uh, you know, he welcomed me. And then after a minute or two, he continued on his day. And so that is fine. That's how... You know that that's fine, but I, but I um, I made an effort. I should be talking to you, right? <laughs> I made an effort. I I initiated small talk conversation with someone, and oh, he apologized. He said, "Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I don't have more to say." After he was telling me some of his story, and I said, "No, that's okay. You know, thank you for your." I think I said thank you for your honesty or thank you for your authenticity, something along those lines. I think I used the word honesty. So, yeah, I need to get one of those pogo sticks so I can like hold the stick and talk and walk at the same time. I think I have one. <laughs> Again, I haven't tried it to see if it actually works. My, I think my brother gave it to me. Yeah, I was going to show you where he used to well, oh, that's another story for another day for another time. And I'm just making this short, quick video under five minutes. Thanks for watching. God bless you always. May you seek first the kingdom of Christ always.